congratulations, you've been gifted with two videos today. Because I want to cover the roller coaster VR game that just dropped on PSVR 2 called Epic Roller Coaster VR. I didn't really know where this game had come from, I'd never heard of it, but it's free. At least the first four tracks of the game are free. And it is actually worth a shot, surprisingly. I didn't think it would be, given it's really, really obvious and upfront name. But I was asking for a VR roller coaster game a couple days ago, and the heavens apparently heard it and answered with this game. Okay, we're down. Oh, here we go. What are they? Uh, oh, they're raptors. <laughs> Let's talk logistics of how much you get for the price of nothing, which again is the four tracks, which take about five minutes to complete each of them, but they each have three modes, one being race mode, where you try and go as fast as you can, one being the classic just enjoyment of the roller coaster, and you go around it, and the last mode being a shooting style mini game, where you go through the coaster again, but with two guns shooting at targets as you go to rack up score and to land yourself somewhere on a leaderboard. Each of the four coasters have these options and you can play through them in whatever order you like and even with an AI companion friend with you. Oh, I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps. And they're running. Is this how this is going to end? I'm going to eat him by a T-Rex. Uh-oh. 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 That's fucking huge. Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was going to chase me. Holy shit. Holy shit. But does the game actually look any good? Well, resolution-wise, yes, surprisingly, since this was made in Unity, which doesn't support foveated rendering, it looks pretty solid. Objects in the middle distance look pretty damn sharp, as they usually do with games that have this level of texture quality. And that being said, the texture quality ranges from pretty good to quest game, essentially. It really does vary level to level, because I'm assuming these assets aren't handmade. I could be wrong, because they seem like store-bought assets, which is fair enough. This is probably a very small dev team. But some of the dinosaur models do look very, very muddy in terms of their texture quality, but the actual edges around them and how you make them out looks completely fine in the headset, if you understand what I'm saying with that. Holy fuck! Whereas with some of the levels, like the underground cave level, everything does look pretty stellar, and I was really enjoying my time looking around in there. Let's talk variety as well, because in the four levels you get for free, you have an underground cave, a Jurassic Island, a tropical island, and a mine that you traverse around. Those are just the four levels that you get for free though. For £10 you can pay for an upgrade pack and you can spend upwards of £10 up to £40 in the UK here for four packs, including a SpongeBob SquarePants officially licensed pack, which is really, really random, but they do look pretty cool. And there are a lot of coasters, so you do get a lot of bang for your buck if you pay the full price. As for comfort settings, you've got your blinders that you usually have and you have varying degrees of comfort options. Essentially the basics that you would expect with a PSVR 2 game. I personally went for no blinders, no comfort options because I don't really get motion sick and none of these coasters really made me feel motion sick. But they did have me moving along with them side to side as I was going around them. Let's talk audio though because there's a reason I'm not showing you too much raw gameplay of my voice and me talking as I'm playing through the levels because it's incredibly loud and adjusting the audio levels in the settings didn't seem to do anything about that. For your experience with this game, you probably will be fine because you can just go to your headphones and turn down the sound manually, but for recording purposes, it's basically impossible to get good footage and audio clarity of this game unless you support two separate audio tracks with a capture card, which I do not at this current point in time. Whoa. Anyway, enough of that stuff. Is the game actually good? Well, for free, it's pretty decent. I would say it's in the middling tiers of PSVR 2 games. It's a good thing to throw somebody on if they've never experienced VR before. Maybe one of the tamer coasters, like the underwater cave that they put you in. Would be a really cool experience for a newcomer uh, to kind of get them into the ropes of how VR feels without actually having to interact or do anything uh, because they can just experience the visuals and the depth for the first time. I made a video yesterday talking about the PSVR 2 games that are good for Christmas that you should pick up to show people, and this is one of them now, to be honest. Add this to that list 
retroactively because this game is free and will give a good experience to anybody that's trying out the headset for the first time. Maybe not with incredible graphics, but to show them how immersive VR can be in terms of motion and getting you into a roller coaster. Anyway, that's all for this short video. There's really not too much to talk about. If you got the spare time and the spare gigabytes on your console, give this one a download and let me know what you think. I was pleasantly surprised by it, given the expectations that I had, which were on the floor, and I ended up coming away fairly impressed. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe. Enjoy the continuation of Resi 4 today, and I hope to see you all in the next video.